I know you've maintained the whole time that if you encourage just one person to get that mammogram, one person to get checked out, it would be worth it. And uh, you actually did help a lot of women, and two of them, Amy, they want to say something to you, so take a look at this. My boyfriend came home from work one night, and we're talking, and he said, by the way, did you hear that story about Amy Robach? I was told that I have breast cancer. So that prompted me to say, you know, I went for a mammogram about six months ago, but I haven't done a self-check. When she revealed that, I thought to myself, oh my gosh, that poor girl. And that really hit home for me. And I knew that I needed to go get a mammogram. I get into bed and I do a self-exam and I found a lump and I couldn't believe it. She started to count on the phone each one. She said, here's what you have. You have one, two, three, four. You have five tumors. I was diagnosed with stage two breast cancer. It was determined that the, the best course of treatment and actually the only course of treatment for me was a mastectomy. After my mastectomy, I had four months of uh, chemotherapy and I went through six weeks of radiation every single day. The other day I was watching Amy Robach on TV and I told my daughter, she was sitting on my lap, I said, see that lady right there? She helped mommy and she has boo-boos too. She has boo-boos? I said, yes, but we're all okay. Amy doing this story and bringing it out in the public and prompting me to think about myself and saying, yes, I've gone for mammograms many times, but doing it at that time, I feel like Amy saved my life. <laughs> Amy, I love you. I don't even know you, but I appreciate your bravery. And because of you, I got to make it to my daughter's birthday party for her second birthday, healthy. That's what happens when somebody says, hey, you should, you should go get a mammogram. And maybe you should. Amy. <laughs> Missy, you should bring a box of tissues We need some tissues, please. Tissues, please. They say they don't know if they would be here if it weren't for you. And Amy, they want to meet you personally. So Missy and Lisa, please come on out. <laughs> You guys said that, that Amy saved your life and you hadn't had a chance to tell her face to face. What do you want to tell her? How brave you were and thank you for being so brave so that you could bring this to the public and that we all are aware of it and I feel that I feel honored to be here. I wanted to thank ABC and The View, but I feel so honored to meet you. And if I can pay this forward in one other person, yep. that we save one other life. Yep. You I just feel. did to like <laughs> millions of people who are watching right now because you're brave. And I want to say you took what happened to me and you didn't just do nothing with it. You decided to do something about it. You, you took care of yourself, and that's what I want for everyone. I, I for want us everyone. all to be here for a very long time. Yes, and, and you're you. doing well. <laughs> yes, I, I can, You Thank look you. amazing. How are you doing? I'm good. Good? I'm really great. good. Amy, that's wonderful. I just wanted to say to you that I admire you, I respect you, and I will always be eternally grateful <sighs> to you. Thank you for doing what you did. I appreciate it. I really appreciate it. Thank you. You really need some Kleenex up here. I saw that in your eyes. That's your second, Ladies, second birthday. Thank you so much. And Amy, love you. Oh, I'm so proud of you. Our thanks thank to you. Amy Robach, Missy, and Lisa. Amy's book, Better, is out now. And members of our audience are going home with a copy of this truly inspirational book. You're going to love it.